trust in. Human beings is not to be trusted. And you, I, I, I don't know if you understand where I'm going. Here. But if God had made human beings and said there is not to be trusted, then I didn't put my trust in human beings. Uh, you understand? You understand what I'm saying? God says that they have this. I hear you, church. Man had it. And it grieved God to his heart. But to my life. In a few months from now, his year will reach. And he called that three scores and and if I behave myself, it's not my strength I will be living on after that. You understand? So you, you don't understand that. You don't understand that. You believe you're on your own. But it's by reason of grace. Somebody says, by reason of grace. It's by reason of goodness. It's by reason of mercy. He's going to have died. By all kind of men and all kind of women and they break my heart. What I said? They break my heart. But I continue to hear a voice say, come son. I have something light. You could talk that. I have something easy. You could carry that. You don't have to do it. Just rest your head. Sing, son, to my life. This is who has brought me to 69. So it's not that person, it's God who gives that person. From the moment that I wake up, yes, Lord. until I live my life, Jesus Christ, I've known you as a father, yes, Lord. I've known you as a friend, 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning, church. I say, God say, don't trust him and don't trust her. What I said, God says, but don't you trust in him? Don't trust in Don't trust them. They're going to break your heart. And they cannot mend your heart. If you want to trust them, put your heart in the hands of God. This morning, my short message is going to be very, very effective to you. You see, I hug you up, I kiss you up, but really I don't trust you. I live according to the word of God. Are uh, you there? Didn't that person who told you she loved you so much, that you trust her and have children with her, didn't she break your heart? That man, didn't he break your heart? Because he was not listening to God. God says, they hurt me and they will hurt you too. Put not your trust. Yes, yeah, show them love. That's what he said to do. Love me one another as you love me. But I didn't tell you to trust them. I said love them. I am. The only one you must trust is God. I tell you to pray for them, but they tell you to trust them. They can't give you life. Are we going somewhere this morning? They will tell you this is the way. Jesus says, I am the way. Are you there? Are we going somewhere this morning? What you said this morning? Because they can't show you the way. They will only tell you something that will lead you the wrong way. But not to trust in them. I will tell you. They will tell you you could eat anything. God said, don't eat anything that is offered to any other God. Or even made for the time that God said, my time is not their time. And their time is not mine. I will tell you. But not to trust in man. I will tell you. For in God, they will say, I put all my trust. And we have a little slam on the we say, In God we trust, in man we pass. Come on, somebody give a prayer. Hallelujah! 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 Church, in the 69 here, I have stories. Come on. Never ending story that you will cry with some, smile with some, and you will sleep away on some because they had no end. But because of that wonderful unseen guest who will always appear when it seemed to be. And then I said, How oh, you make this way? When it seemed to be, oh, he said, I'm here, I'm there, and I'm everywhere. When it seemed to be, no way. Come on, church! So this morning, Miss Hyman here, she here. I wanted to sing first before we bring Pastor Jada to give us a voice from God. Yesterday in the bamboo, as we would say, uh, uh, she come around me and she sing a song that her voice sounds so wonderful. I said, cut the song off, sing it today. Church, we have voices in the house. Yeah. 
that you may not know about. Are you understand? Because God business, sometimes you don't know where it is. But it's only when he opened it up you could really know where it is. Sometimes and sometimes and sometimes Just come and sing for me, please. In whose name? Yeah. So just sing. You can say good morning. And after that, just sing. Don't give me no message today. Praise God.
of lions. If you go to Peter. Yeah. Yeah. First Peter. Come on. Chapter 5. Yeah. Right yes. And verse 8. Uh -huh. Go ahead. It says, be sober, be, vil be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walked about seeking whom he may be found. So you see, with this lion now, you have to be a bit mindful. You have to be watchful. If you don't have a, a sober mind, if you don't have a spirit of discernment, you will get catch. You see, with, with this lion, if you pay attention to the roar, to the sound, you will get confused. If you're not being watchful and prayerful, you will be devoured. Because I want you to understand and appreciate the word as here and the word like here. Because the Bible tells us the devil comes as a lion or like a lion, which means he's not a lion. He just has the soul. He just has the form of godliness. And he comes to steal. And he comes to kill. And he comes to destroy. But even if we go to verse 10 here, it says, But the God of all grace, who hath called unto us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that he hath suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. So you see, this is where the Lion of Judah comes into play. Because we just took about a lion that comes to steal, to kill, to destroy, to devour you. But this Lion of Judah, he comes to strengthen you, he comes to settle you, he comes to perfect you, and he comes to protect you against the wiles of the false lion. So our job as children of God is to differentiate when we just hear the roar and when we hear the real lion. Because in the book of Hosea, it says that when God just comes as a lion and he roars, his children will come trembling. Yes. You see, the, right. the, the, the devil, he doesn't make you tremble. But you see, the power that God has, this time we're talking about, yeah. will cause them to tremble, yeah. will cause them to flee, and will cause them to run. So as I bring it to uh, Titan as a nutshell here, right. I just wanted to let you know, we have three lions. Right. The first one is the one you'll find on the earth. It's nature to bite you when they come close. Right. Being going close to that one. Yeah. Then it have the pretender, the one who yeah. just roars, yeah. he's not a real lion, yeah. who comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah. And then the last lion, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah, yeah. who comes to strengthen you, he comes to protect you, he comes to settle you, and he comes to establish you. What you need to do as children of God is to differentiate to the soul who is the real lion. Yeah. Bishop's Appreciation Day. Uh, and I just have a few words to say. Go ahead. Love it. From St. Standard 2, yeah. the Axie class to, to write a little something about the role model. And from since then, I wrote about you. Yeah. And then in high school, they used to harass me, they used to say, Pastor God, Pastor God. But I didn't let it be real then. Because from since then, I knew that you are truly an anointed The way that you walk in is above any of that. Yes, sir. I just want to tell you for being an excellent role model in my life. So I can be an up to and I'm being encouraged by you. Just want to say I love you. I appreciate you. she pop up. I remember one evening in about maybe two, three years ago, she and she mother and she brother drive up at me and said, I want to talk. No, she mother said, Jade, I want to talk to you. Amen. And that alone was enough. Amen. I said, she not listening to them, you know. 
She went to the hill with Grandpa Hart to see. Hallelujah. So then I, I know what she said today is real. Amen. Amen. I ain't going into no details with that. Amen. But all the talking and I am feeling it too. I want to go to God. Amen. Amen. To make my life hard. Amen. Amen. And she left smiling, I assure. Praise the Lord. Church, in all of what we hear today, we hear about three lions. But there is a main lion. She said that one does break down lions' barriers. What them lion inside here trying to block in front of you? I understand there is a lion who break down their barriers. All of them trying to block you and stop you. Somebody said there is a line of Judah and they did right inside there break it down. All of them trying to block you in this morning. That line will break it down. We are going to 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 break it down. Oh, come into the for you because 
say, you know why? You will leave Indians to take you down. And then the lion we're talking about is a lion for those <laughs> that live in the lion life. I mean, he will pick down barriers for those that live in the lion life. They come in and roll in line to devour you. He comes to devour them too. I hear you too. He's the lion that breaks every. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will be a church. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to have a lion like that? My God, my daughter, my granddaughter explained this thing so good. She said that kind of lion she talking about, no other prey don't go behind it. And when the fire comes up, because it never lose a battle. And when the fire comes up, the enemy says that is the lion of the come, 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 and keep going. All of them that never lose a battle. And since they will never lose a battle, my God, fight now! They take down your mother. They take down your father. But God said, I'm raising up a little horn. I'm raising up a little horn. I'm raising up a little They come with a ten horns and they devour you. But God said, it's time to this stuff. I'm going to raise up a little horn. Are you there? Say, I want to be raised. Yeah. 
tell you what is first. Amen. You do it last. Yeah. You pay for what you are in right now. What I say not to do is what you went and do. I can't turn back on the road. Boy, it's too perfect to make it up. I 
know in the grass. They don't care where they don't be. So they don't have to rent chairs and rent tables and all. Jesus said, what the hope on? These people hungry. And they hungry. And if I send them away like that, they will perish. Look for people that are hungry. Don't look for people that tell you that. I hear you.
69 listen. 68 and over 60 listen. But when you reach 70,
They say the 20 percent is well. Well, I'm thinking that. Mommy say what the first say is well. I'm thinking that. I say anytime what you say, what you say. So when they tell me that there's no one there, I say all right. I have it. When I come to me and business, oh, what about you all know? And I have it because of him. No problem. So I'm making sure as I have life, I'm going to give you praise. Amen. 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 I don't think he will ask me what they have come down here. I know he's going to tell me, welcome back home. Amen. Amen. I don't think he will give me the time I come. He will give me the time I reach. Amen. 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 Come on, he's going to say, welcome back home. I will be there. Forget when you come, but remember where you're going. He will come back where? Oh. Go there, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And not only that, boy, all you feel all you could sing, angel tuning up. Come on, glory! And I'm telling you music. All you think this is lights? This is joke lights. Come on, good, good, good. This is joke lights. He said, Paul see a pattern in light. Paul see that light brighter than day. And I hear that light is Jesus. Come on, good. And there is no darkness. Come on. What about after the, the preacher preach on Tuesday? I will give you your answer. Four to ten. Hey! Is that? Church! Let me tell you a little piece of yesterday, what about said, Bishop, some eight years kind of people who made up come accident where God comes from. The world was without form and form. And where it come from? I said, well, let me tell you, if something was without, I ain't telling you nothing, I'm going to tell you, if something was without form and form, something else was without, and still is without form and form. What is it? I don't know. The word of God said it was darkness. What is it? It was darkness. It was in darkness. Yeah. Form, walk on darkness. Yeah. And call it up. Yeah. To become something. How are we there? Yeah. I said form, walk on it. And form said that it be what? Light. light. And there is light. Until today. Yeah. I understand that hell. Hell is a place. Called the bottomless pit. You could know who don't know. When the same God have a place yeah. called bottomless, yeah. where man can't know, he yeah. know where it comes from. It have some places in. Eh? Some places in. Eh? And eh, what yet? And eh, what yet? It ain't established yet because it's still bottomless. Are you there? Don't tell me anything about me, God. Tell me about where the bottomless pit is. And you can't give me no answer. Yeah. Then I have no man. Don't try to go down there. Don't try to go there. Father, can you stretch my hands? For your words, your God. Some are weak. Some of them are sad. Some of them have never learned to love you well. Some of them have lost the love they ever had. But today, for one common reason, we are all in the presence. And we come to tell you, oh God, nothing in our hands we bring, but simply to your cross we come. Asking you today, oh God, for pardon. Asking you for forgiveness. Lord, we know it is impossible. And the impossible also, what it seemed to be no way, always know that you just come and make a way because you are invincible and invincible God. All things are made by you, you in the mind, and you search your heart. You know the broken hearted one today, you know the weak one, you know the sufferer, you know the one that's begging, oh God, for you to come and do something, and they can't tell it to nobody. More than you, you know the one that's planning to take the life. Right now, when you say that life belongs to you, and no weapon, you know the one that's begging them for pardon today, who got talk in their hearts. Because what I could do today is not about touching them, but it's about you speaking to their hearts. God says your heart have an ears, and if you listen diligently to His words, He will bless you. 
you when you go out, sir. He will bless you when you come in, sir. He will make you a power of my family. He will lend to many nations and he will never go to any family nation. Your bread basket will never be empty. The crop that you plant on will bring forth and your children will bring forth blessing in your life. And your children, children will bring forth blessing. And your great grandchildren will bring forth blessing. If you happen diligently, God said, listen. Your heart has a death directly link up with your heart. Today, if you want to be free, though you can see him with your eyes, but use your heart today and say, Lord, I surrender all. I thought I was it. I went to the toilet. I went to the bathroom. I have to use toothbrush. Sometimes when you get up in the morning, your wife can't stand your breath. But God says, I will look to hear your voice. Your husband can't stand your breath. But God says, I will look to hear your voice. And your breath is in your voice. Just what man neglecting to receive here. God accepted it in heaven. So then tell God, I need your love. I need your passion. I try everything on my own. I went to parties, strip teams, I look at blues. All these things, they never satisfy my soul. I want you to satisfy my soul. Take the pleasures of this world away from me, oh God.